Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to change the shape of the comment box. So you may be familiar with the comment box. Maybe you have a comment box that when you hover over the cell it shows up here. It's just this rectangular box. Or you have something that already shows up here and it, you don't have to hover over it. It just kind of shows up already. And you have this square or rectangular box that you can actually adjust. I mean, you can adjust it to be almost like a square or you can adjust it to be like a rectangle. So you can actually change the shape of this comment box to another shape, such as uh, a cloud or a thought bubble or a exciting kind of a star, or you can even do an arrow or kind of a, a scroll parchment paper-like uh, icon or a speech bubble. And there's these different shapes you can change the comment box to. So I'll show you how to do that. So let me go over over here to sheet two and let's insert a comment box. I'm going to click on the cell here and just right click insert comment and I'm just going to call this uh, comment box demo. And I'm just going to go ahead and right click it and show, do a show hide comment so it's going to be there just for this particular demo. So, so let me click outside here in the box and that will give me the option to go ahead and select more commands in the QAT, the Quick Access Toolbar. Click on more commands and what I want to do under the choose commands from is select the drawing tools format tab. And once I select that I want to see the change shape. And so what I want to do is I want to add this command into the QAT. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. It's going to show up here and click OK. And once that's added, I have this icon up here now. So now I can select the comment box, and now this icon's activated. So I can just click down here and change it to another shape. So I kind of like the speech bubble shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here. It's in here. It's called the oval callout. So let me go ahead and click on that, and now you see we have a speech bubble. And I can also adjust it to kind of hover over or cover the this arrow. You can't really get rid of this arrow or you can make it different color but I can just make it cover over the arrow and there we have our different shape for the comment box and even in this comment box you can actually change a lot of the things in there if you don't like that that yellowish color you can right click and go into format comment and under the color and lines tab and you let's fill it out to have it white color and then click OK and now we have a white colored comment box here. I guess it's more like a speech bubble now. So there's a lot of options. I mean if I go in here and go back to the change shapes, Q, change shapes QAT you can see there's a bunch of shapes you can change it. You can change it into the scroll I had earlier in the other tab. This is the horizontal one. I had the vertical one. And so you can just play around with it and instead of having the boring square or rectangular box you can actually have another shape for your comment box so i hope this helps thanks for watching